weather alert is still out for the freezing drizzle that we're still getting in some parts of the Pikes Peak region alongside with light snow and very dense fog later tonight. So all of those weather elements combined is the reason for the weather alert. Of course, this is not going to be a snowstorm that's going to be dumping a lot of snow by any means. The wintry mix was more so the concern earlier today, and we did have several reports of uh, accidents and slide offs along secondary roads. I-25 has been faring OK, except for when you get to those bridges and overpasses. Uh, what I'm showing you here is still patchy freezing drizzle. Uh, you'll notice kind of the line here across parts of Colorado Springs or east of Colorado Springs all the way down uh, into Pueblo. So now that snow line is starting to get a little bit closer uh, here in Pueblo County. Uh, so you probably still have some secondary slick roads there around Pueblo West, uh, even up along I-25 uh, in parts of Pueblo right now. It should see a changeover to snow here uh, over the next 30 to 45 minutes. If you're joining us around uh, northern sections of Powers Boulevard or southern sections of Powers Boulevard around South Carefree, uh, probably still getting some light freezing drizzle. Uh, so you'll notice some of the snow getting a little bit closer here to parts of I-25. Uh, of course, you'll notice the uh, evening planner here uh, kind of showing uh, what we're expecting uh, later this evening. Let me back that up. I got a little too uh, happy there with the uh, clicker. Uh, temperatures are going to be dipping into the 20s. We're really just going to plateau in the teens and 20s overnight tonight. Freezing drizzle through about 8 p.m. Change over to light snow, very light, a dusting at best, and then dense fog late tonight and early tomorrow morning. We're already seeing that in some areas and east side of Colorado Springs. There's the main system that's now pushing across the eastern two thirds of the country, bringing a mix of everything from the boot hill of Missouri into southern middle Tennessee. See. We've got a secondary wave that's going to come through embedded in this trough, but it's not going to come till, through till Friday. So here's how things are going to shake out for the remainder of the evening. Light snow uh, just kind of precipitating from some of those clouds, so really not showing up here on our future cast. It will slowly start to clear out through about tomorrow afternoon. Our forecast model is saying it's going to happen tomorrow morning. I think it's more so going to be tomorrow afternoon. I think that uh, dense fog and cloud cover could be with us for the first half of the day tomorrow. Uh, regardless, tomorrow is dry. Our streets should be improving certainly by tomorrow afternoon. Our next incoming system enters from the northwest across the mountains with two to four inches expected for higher terrain areas. And then cloudy skies return on Friday. And then the mix here of what we'll get with rain and snow for Pueblo County and then light snow across the Pikes Peak region between noon and 4 p.m. Most of it hugs the foothills in the higher terrain areas up into the Sangre de Cristos. It's going to be a light to moderate round of snow. The uh, key message here is the fact that we're going to have already a cool ground. So, you know, oftentimes we talk about, oh, we, we have warm ground temperatures, so it's going to take a minute for everything to start sticking. Not on Friday. We're going to have this prolonged period of uh, colder conditions, so it's not going to take long uh, for our roads to become partially to mostly covered for secondary roads. We always know I-25 is usually well treated and well manicured, but those secondary surfaces will have to watch Friday afternoon and Friday evening uh, for the commutes. Uh, of course, you'll notice here the future cast is showing lingering snow for the Raton Mesa tonight. And then as we move through Friday, Friday morning, Snow starts to come in here across the high country uh, for Friday morning. We have cloud cover and then we'll start to get a good one to three inches here in parts of the Pikes Peak region. Could be higher amounts up towards parts of the Rampart Range, less than an inch across parts of the Arkansas River Valley. So lighter the farther east you go. The mountains looking to favor uh, with this next system coming in on Friday. Woodland Park will watch your overnight low temperatures down into the high single digits tonight, 20s and 30s tomorrow slowly starting to clear out. So maybe a little peak of sunshine tomorrow. Uh, Friday, we cloud back up, a chance of snow, and then we return to an abundance of sunshine for the weekend time frame. Temperatures back in the 30s and 40s. So we finally have a period here where we're going to have more seasonal temperatures for you know at least a good four to five days before we're going to start to have more of a warming trend. Uh, Pueblo County, Dense fog late tonight, early tomorrow morning, along with Fremont County. We understand the roads in Fremont County, especially along Highway 115 coming out of Fort Carson, uh, has been very treacherous today. So we do understand that that is a road you may want to avoid at least until tomorrow afternoon. Uh, we do look to uh, clear out briefly tomorrow and uh, some sunshine returning to help dry out those roads ahead of our next system that returns on Friday. Back to you guys. All right, Mary, thank you. The down week for Wall Street continues as the major markets took another big hit.